What's up? Welcome to IQ Sports Advisors. We got the Sweet 16. March Madness continues tonight. I'm excited for it. We're about to get hot here. Just won an MLB preseason parlay yesterday. I haven't won shit lately. I'm cold as ice, but yesterday marked the turnaround. Today marks the scorched earth fucking on fire that we're about to get after this four game slate that we have here today. And we're going to ride that shit all weekend long and you guys are going to be joining along for it. So let's do this thing. First game, Michigan State, Kansas State. My least favorite game on the board today. There's four games. If I had to X one out that I didn't want anything to do with, it's probably this one. Okay, Michigan State is currently favored by one. That's not how it's been. Kansas State was favored to open, and all the money is just pouring onto Michigan State. You can tell the books are just trying to cover their asses, basically, because all the money is on Michigan State. I understand it because it's Tom Izzo. It's Sparty, you know, Michigan State Spartans. It's March. Like, all those things, like, there is a history there. It makes some sense. But this is a seven-seed Michigan State against a three-seed Kansas State. Kansas State has been better all year long, but they're underdogs now. Now, look, I honestly got, if I were to lean one side or the other here, I am going with all the other money and all the other people. I am leaning Michigan State, but I don't like it. Like, this just seems like hey, let's give Michigan State one-point favorites now because, you know, Kansas State, they're better. Like, let's just keep it going that way because all the money is pouring in there. And watch Kansas State win this thing. Like, it just, it, it's weird to me. It doesn't look right. So I might just be staying away from it. What I do like out of this game, the over-under is set at 138. I think I was expecting, I what I'd like to do with a lot of these picks, I like to say, hey, this is where I would set the number before I even look at the number. When I did that in this game, I said 142. So it is four points under what I expected. Typically, if it's five or more difference in something like that, I jump on it, right? So if I'm not liking picking a specific team here, like I said, slight lean to Michigan State, not loving it though, I'm probably gonna end up taking the over. So I do like the over of 138. The next game, Arkansas and UConn. This is my first upset of the day. UConn, look, dude, I had them getting beat last week by St. Mary's. It didn't fucking work, all right? I do have to say, though, St. Mary's stuck in that game. It was like a tie game with 12 minutes left. All of a sudden, UConn just rains threes. I mean, they had to have made 12 in a row. Like, it was insane how many threes they continue to make. They ended up beating the fucking brakes off of St. Mary's. Completely ruined my day. It ends today. Arkansas, they're too good, man. Their guards are great. Nick Smith is back. He's one of the best players in the country. I just can't see. I, I don't understand the four points because UConn is favored by four. I don't understand that. I would jump on Arkansas plus four, no doubt about it. Me personally, though, I think Arkansas wins this game. I'm taking Arkansas money line. They had them at like plus 180 earlier. I'm jumping all over that if there's a big number like that. Plus 180 for Arkansas. Sign me up. Next game, Florida Atlantic and Tennessee. This is my favorite game on the slate, okay? Tennessee, the four seed. Florida Atlantic, the nine seed. Tennessee, impressive win over Duke, who a lot of people had advancing like a million miles into this tournament, right? I think they were the most, most favorite pick other than Alabama to make it to the Final Four. Tennessee's looking good. Sure, they don't have their best player. They ain't had him for a while. It doesn't seem to matter. They're getting impressive wins, and they're advancing. Florida Atlantic, on the other hand, they're limp dicking in to wherever the hell they're going, you know, which is going to be going home today. Tennessee is an absolute fucking lock. There has never been a lock like this one in college basketball I've ever seen. Florida Atlantic upset Memphis by one point on a game winner, 66 to 65. That was their first round in the NCAA tournament. They limped in, right? Limped on to the next round where they were supposed to play the one seed, but they weren't because Purdue was upset by a 16 seed, which never happens because Purdue fucking sucks. So what ended up happening? The nine seed, Florida Atlantic, now is a favorite against the 16 seed. Pretty fortunate series of events for them after limping past Memphis to get there. Then what it, uh, ended up happening, Florida Atlantic jumped out to a big lead, but then that lead was cut down and we had ourselves a game. That game went down to the wire. Florida Atlantic sneaks out a win to advance to the Sweet 16. That storybook ends today. Like They haven't played a team like Tennessee. They haven't played a team anywhere close to Tennessee. What I don't understand, Tennessee is favored only by four and a half points. Four and a half points. I mean, I'm ready to jump on every alternate spread that they have as high as they'll take it. I think Tennessee wins this game by double digits, 10 plus. Last time I looked, Tennessee minus nine and a half was at plus 150. Love that return. I'll take that all freaking day. 
But the lock of the day is without a doubt, Tennessee minus four and a half. Florida Atlantic doesn't stand a chance. They don't belong here. Tennessee, they're playing great basketball. Like everything just makes a ton of sense to, you know, absolutely load up on this game. It's my favorite pick of the day. Load up on it for sure. Last but not least, Gonzaga UCLA. UCLA currently favored by one. I love Gonzaga. And look, this might just be, I'm not, it wouldn't be a homer pick, but listen, all of my brackets, every single one of them, I have Alabama versus Gonzaga. I don't know what rhyme or reason I picked during those brackets to have Gonzaga upsetting UCLA, but I did. And that's what happened. So I'm going to ride with that till I die. Gonzaga. I love Tim A. I have to say Tim A. I can never just say his Tim A. The, you know, no, no, I have to do the South Park voice, I guess. But Tim A is taking them all the freaking way to the NCAA championship. I love Gonzaga here. They play nobody all year long. Absolute fucking nobody. They beat up on D3 schools just to get to the tournament. And this is when they show up. What is it, like seven or eight straight Sweet 16s? This team is built for March like they always are. I'm sorry, but UCLA, they're kind of new to being good at basketball again. Like they UCLA used to be a cool school. They're just not anymore. They don't belong. And Gonzaga is going to win this game. Gonzaga money line. Tennessee, whatever, make sure you're taking them with points. Moneyline is the cheap way to go about it. Tennessee, any way, shape, or form with any spread, I love the pick. Arkansas upset, that's my big upset of the day. Arkansas money line. if you like them, plus four, take that and feel really good about it. And then Michigan State or Kansas, slight lean Michigan State, kind of liking the over of 138. Not my favorite game, but if you're picking on something, I would do Michigan State or the over. If we were doing it in order, I like the over more so than I like Michigan State. So maybe you just play that and, and hope for a lot of scoring. But that's some picks. Let's go win some fucking money. We're getting hot today. Mm -hmm.